guys. It's currently 6 a.m. Um, Brayden's just sleeping. It's been a long week of training camp, so we make sure, uh, in general, he's getting at least 8 to 10 hours of sleep. I mean, recovery is so important, so um, I like to get up a little bit early, get some work done, get some reading done. Right now, I'm working on the uh, final finishing touches for the day just to make sure um, our day of training camp goes as smooth and efficient as possible. Uh, he'll be up soon, get some breakfast and get some stretches, get his uh, body going, and we'll start the day, we'll get after it. Good morning, Mission Elite. Uh, just woke up here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, another day. Uh, of preseason training uh, starting today. Uh, it's Thursday, so we've been going at it about um, five or six days now in a row. So feeling it this morning, definitely. Um, so it's gonna be important for me to have a big breakfast. Uh, first thing I always do when I wake up in the morning is have a big glass of water. Just after sleeping, um, you know, and not drinking a lot, um, I always wake up pretty dehydrated. So I like to start the morning with you know, a big glass of cold water kind of sets the tone for the day. Um, after that, I'll slowly make my way into the kitchen, uh, make myself um, some oatmeal with fruit uh, that I've got right here. So I got some bananas, raspberries, and blueberries in there, um, along with a half a cup of uh, coffee. Um, that I like to just kind of helps me wake up in the mornings. See you later. One of Braden's morning routines is getting a little foam rolling, stretching, uh, getting his body moving in the morning just to get him primed and geared up for the day. Um, so we go through this routine um, for about 15, 20 minutes before heading out to practice. <laughs> Just heading off to practice now. Um, this morning we're going to uh, Todd Whittem's Academy. Uh, that's where I've been uh, uh, basing most of my training at uh, so far in Fort Lauderdale. Um, so I think the plan for this morning is we're gonna jump in with a couple of the Korean guys that are out here uh, training as well. Um, you'll probably see us uh, playing some sets or, or situational points. I'm not exactly sure what's on the game plan. Um, Coach will have that all lined up when we get there. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll play some, uh, you know, we're close to competition time now, so it's about playing points and, and, uh, and getting, getting match ready. All right, we're at Todd Whittem's place here. Uh, we're going to get a good session in with a bunch of top 100 players, uh, iron out some details, work on some specifics within the set play for Braden. Braden's just getting this warm up ready. Uh, we're about to start. <laughs> Right. Up, up. Good ball. Looks great. Here we go. Ball. Perfect. You can, we just have to cover it more. All right, just cover it more. Here you go. Such a great play. Such a great play. Let's not forget that second point of that return game. So hard to pass you and be precise in the wind when you're coming forward. Yes, last one. Hey guys, uh, just finished my morning practice. Uh, we played about three hours. I got two sets in uh, with Nam and then uh, did some one-on-one -on -one work with Raheel after. Uh, yeah, that's my morning. We just finished the morning session, Braden and Nam. Uh, they got a good couple practice sets in. A uh, lot to take from this morning that we're gonna get back in the afternoon to work on. Um, so right now what we typically do in between uh, the morning session and the afternoon session is 
he comes back, he takes care of his body, recovers, uh, takes care of some little things. And I uh, spend some time working on some things right now, uh, finishing up some notes from this morning that we're then going to address tomorrow. And then uh, after that, I'm going to be working on some of our guys' player plans from back home. Um, so here's my little setup uh, right now, working on uh, some uh, notes from this morning from his session. Uh, we're going to clean up some things in the afternoon and then get the fitness underway. Um, but, you know, I was working on uh, some player plans for the guys back home there. And if I'm not working on it, I've got my, you know, my books here. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to learn right now. Uh, uh, the book we're in right now is The Coddling of the American Mind. And another great one is It Takes What It Takes by one of the best mental conditioners in the world. And then we got uh, Wim Hof's here, uh, which is what our guys back home are really into right now. They're loving learning about him and what he's done. So that's the setup. All right, so we're back in the car on our way to our second practice now. As you can see, I loaded up on the sunscreen this afternoon. It's pretty hot. Uh, it's a pretty hot day today. So hopefully the wind isn't too bad this afternoon because we're going to try to get some drilling done. Uh, yeah, just clean up a few things that, uh, you know, I wasn't too happy with this morning. But, uh, yeah, it should be a good afternoon session. Uh, we're jumping out there with Ronnie and... Uh, yeah, we should run about uh, about an hour and a half, I think we're hoping for, and then uh, we'll head to the beach after that for our sand workout. Ready? Here we go. forward here. Yes. Good. Water. I like that game because it incentivizes like winning two in a row. Mm. That's it. You're putting even pressure off the return there. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the one. Want to try to be aggressive off the return here? Yeah. Go. So we got the boys here. We like to always play for something on the line. That's how we like to train Braden, where there's always meaning behind every drill, behind every competition. Now they're paying it out. Braden got the win here, but he's jumping and he wants to get a little bit faster. That's how we do it. So we just finished a practice, afternoon session, cleaned up a little bit on the return, uh, got the fitness going at the end there, and we always try to compete with something on the line, so that's what we put at the end there. Uh, Braden just finished up. Braden, how was it? Good session. A little bit after that one, for sure. Um, we'll get after it to the beach now, and then, yeah, just keep working. Last day until the day off, so let's get it. Perfect. We're, up beach. We're about to run Braden through a fitness session, a beach workout. Uh, a lot of what our fitness trainers uh, with Mission Lee have taught us, we're going to implement today. And as well as uh, Matt Reyes' specialty resistance band training, we're going to get him fast and explosive. Let's get to work. One of the things about Braden is his go get it mentality. I think it separates him from the rest of the pack. Everything he does, he attacks it, whether that's in training, fitness matches. I think that's the separator for him. Watch and learn. Go. High knees. High knees. Take off. Take off. I thought he'd be faster. Hey, if you're gonna come in here, you gotta beat him. You can't be coming in a race and losing like that. All right, no more second chances, all right. <laughs> uh, in between sets, just trying to stay hydrated. Um, this is kind of like a, kind of a natural electrolyte blend that uh, Sam, at Mission Lead. Um, she's fantastic. Um, 
you know, always kind of helps me out on and off the court. And uh, yeah, just electrolytes and a little bit of salt uh, with water. Nothing too special. <laughs> finished our day with a uh, with beach workout. Uh, I don't even know how long we went, maybe like 30 minutes. Uh, a lot of sprinting, a lot of shuffling, a uh, couple cone drills. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Thanks for following my day and uh, you know, I'm going to go back, take a nice bath, uh, do some recovery. I'm sure I'll show you guys some of that, but uh, that's it for my training. Today we got Braden in an ice bath. We told the hotel to put the pool at uh, ice bath temperature to rest and recover his body. Braden has it in there. It's cold. Um, you know, just it's got to it's how you got to finish the day off the nice bath, get ready for tomorrow, um, do it all over again. That's right. So we're finished with Braden's full day of training. Uh, he's recovered. He's uh, coming to an end. And typically, you know, what comes at the end of his day is he's got some meetings uh, with agents and sponsors um, that he has to uh, get on the phone call with. And it's really important to understand that a professional athlete's life is, life is so much more than just playing tennis. There's a whole management management side to it all, mm -hmm. and so Braden and his team do a great job of uh, taking care of that, um, and that's why we've implemented Bo Gibbs, who ours, who's our financial uh, wealth management planner uh, with Mission Elite, to really take care of our pros uh, in the off court financial uh, aspect behind it all, and and manage their careers. So Braden's day all finished up, his training, uh, another good day in the books. Uh, where we're getting better, we're working on some things. Um, now I end off the day. Uh, our guys, they want us to report on how our players are doing, so they, we always follow up with them on, on the progress of Braden while he's in Florida doing his training camp, on Jada when she's back home, on Alex when he's in Bulgaria. Um, so it's just a little time where we reflect, we review, and we make the next steps, not only for the players, but what we have to do for the, for the business. Uh, say hi to the boys. So that's a wrap for the day. Uh, got about four and a half hours in on court and then we finished off with a little beach workout um, to finish the day. It was a long one. Uh, legs were feeling toasty. Uh, I'm ready to sleep. Uh, just got to do a little more stretching before bed and get a good meal in. But uh, I appreciate you guys following um, my off season and uh, I'm ready for 2021.